Great conversation, uh, Jacobina, and next question. What is considered a perversion in sex? So, the um, definition of perversion is an unacceptable practice, socially speaking, and normally it's related to sex. So, this is very tricky as well because there are some practices that can be unacceptable in our culture but acceptable in other ones. For example, um, pedophilia. Like, for me, it's not an acceptable practice on sex because you have a human being, in this case, the children that they don't understand what is going on and you don't have the consent from them and they are biologically and mentally not prepared for that. So for me, that's an unacceptable practice that, it, uh, that people could, could, uh, could name it as, uh, as a perversion. But there are some other countries that they, that legal, um, uh, marriage between a minor and an adult, it's legal, right? And you can find uh, children of 9, 10 years getting married with people of 30 years old, right? And that's still pedophilia. Afghanistan. Exactly, like there are some, some countries that that's legal. And for example, for the WHO, I think it was 80s, homosexuality was still considered as a, as a disease, as a mental disease. In some countries, nowadays, it's a crime. And we have uh, other countries where it's like, uh, it, it's, not, it's definitely not considered any of those. And they had been working to bring the quality to these the communities that he, they had been invisibilized for centuries, right? So it's, it's very complicated to say what exactly a perver perversion is because you need to see it from... Th 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 there are a lot of, of circumstances that you need to take, in, um, take into account. For example, these cultural the, um, things. Like in some, um, in some countries, they might look like unacceptable and as a perversion and for us might be just uh, a normal expression of sex as homosexualities. Yeah. But between uh, adults? Of uh, that's a very hard one. I I don't know, like for example Sophilia for me that's a perversion as well because you do not have the consent of the animal. But there are some countries that they prepare their their men with I don't know chickens or goats or whatever to uh, lose their virginity with with them instead of, of a human being so I don't know I have I have seen very weird in my eyes or very heavy playing in the BDSM scene that I wouldn't do because I I don't feel attracted to it or it's just too much too much sadism for me. So I I don't know if that's a perver perversion because a lot of people already think that what I do is a perversion. So um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know what I could imagine the like between two human beings that are that have negotiated and that have consents in their practices, I wouldn't imagine what the, the perversion. Right now, I don't know. Uh, as for age uh, gap, uh, how... Um, what can you say about age gap between partners, man and woman? Is it good or bad? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, 
I'll say that depends on the on the intellectual development of the person of the younger person because there are some uh, practices that I not uh, I don't agree that is a very old uh, or, or an older not very old but just an older man that manipulates um, younger women and I do not agree with those practices because the manipulation is there and if you are manipulate there is no consent there is no freedom there is no uh, will in there right but I also I started from a very young age like my sexual life and my curiosity about it at what age? 14 but like by 14 I already read all the Marquis of Sade all the like all the erotic uh, literature that I found by that age I read it so I was very well read I was very curious about a lot of practices uh, and I'm very aware that my intellectual uh, mat maturity in that moment, like sex related, it was way more than for example some of the friends that I have now that they are in their 30s. So. When I see myself uh, dealing, because I always dealt with way older um, sex partners, I don't see myself as I was used, nor as a victim, nor as an object. Because in almost all of them, I, I, I cannot remember a single one when I, wa I wasn't aware of what it was happening. Like I was, uh, if I was there, I agree with it. I knew what was happening. I and I sometimes I was organizing those um, encounters with persons. So I think it, it, we should analyze like what's the the intellectual level, uh, intellectual maturity of the the younger person to be able if they can actually rationally speaking, if they can make that, those type of decisions or not. As for your list of uh, levels, how can we call it name? I call them playmates. Playmates. Yeah. But, but levels, yes. What, what uh, kind of information do you fix? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know, name, uh, maybe weight, or nationality, or what else. Uh, there are some... Or, or, or your impressions, uh, plus uh, the minuses. I mean, there are some that I don't even remember their names. Um, or their nationalities, or I didn't even care about it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, like... I don't know, there, there, there are some, uh, some partners that I remember, or some playmates that I remember because it, like, I got a lot of fun during that moment. Or it was a very specific um, adventure. But um, yeah, so some of them, like, I'm, I don't even remember them. As I'm very sure that they might not remember me either. So. But, but I think we're okay with it. But uh, a list of levels, list of levels. Like, I know the number just because I, li I like lists, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Like, if you put me, if I should write something about each of them, I definitely don't remember. Like, I, there are some that I don't remember their faces, that I don't remember their name, where are they from, I don't remember anything about them. And... Um, but I think I, like, I'm pretty okay with it because that was the, the, the agreement between us. So, like, this is just one night so, stand. But you just collect, 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 and you're like a 
to feel yourself uh, not uh, to feel like a champion no no I just like sex like it's not the prize there is not a, a competition there is not I just like sex I just like very specific like uh, I like exploring I like learning um, yeah it's not something that uh, like I have a goal or I have a a number that I need to no sometimes I can have many playmates at the same time sometimes I can have just one it depends but why is it difficult for you to find a well and one man and have long uh, a relationship with him and to, to have sex with one man I I don't need I don't need a relationship with a man. I and the sexual practices that I have with different persons are very different between each other because each person is a different universe. So there are some practices that I might do with playmate one that playmate five do, doesn't even know about them. So yeah, and they all know, they all know what they are dealing with and for example the first thing that I said like you will never be the one so can you deal with that like do you agree with this with this contract this is the situation this is what is going to happen and you are not going to be the only one never how do you feel about it some people like it some people don't and I think it's a, it's a more honest way to act rather than selling them this idea of the happy forever relation. You are the only one when it's not true. Yeah, and give uh, false hopes. Yes. Yeah, like I, I think that's unfair and unfortunately a lot of people do that. A lot of people use that because it's easy. It's easier, way easier than having these negotiations, having these talks with persons and embracing the failure as well because a lot of people cannot handle with those type of negotiations, with those type of, of relations and they just say no. They're like, okay. I, I guess that uh, what, what, uh, what was the longest relationship be between you and uh, a man and all okay okay the shortest was one time yeah and uh, the longest uh five years you know mm -hmm. but we were in an open relationship all the time mm -hmm. like i do not agree to get into a relation if the person the doesn't agree to be uh, to be not monogamous to be poly at least poly uh, polygamous. That's one of my most basic terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. So if we cannot agree with that, the negotiation is over and it was a pleasure, but we are not compatible. Yeah. And uh, what do you think about group sex? I think it's messy. I'm not a big fan of it because it's messy. And yeah, I, I've been a few times in those type of, of practices, but I don't feel comfortable with it. I uh, and I don't think a lot of people feel comfortable with it because it's more like there is the fantasy about it what porn show you, how it might look like, and then reality, you know? And logistically speaking, it's very complicated. So I don't feel it for myself. I don't feel it natural. I need to flow. I need to see how the, um, the circun circumstances go. And especially because I like very specific practices, not everyone in a group of, sex group right not every single member might be um, 
comfortable with my practices and I don't have the time to negotiate with all of them. You know, so for me, because it's messy, logistically speaking, it's complicated, I prefer to avoid it. But I understand why a lot of people like it.